So it's gonna be a fun evening. It's a bit of a tradition here to paint your boat name on the wall. And so we bought some paint and it's time to get creative. We packed up a bag full of snacks, a few bottles of wine, speaker, projector, but we decided to do it actually on the other wall over there where the big boats come in. No one really knows why, but a belief arose among sailors in the 19th century that if you sailed to the Azores and didn't leave a painting behind, you would forever have bad luck at sea. Sailors, being a pretty superstitious bunch, have stuck to the tradition for the past few hundred years. We definitely weren't about to tempt fate. And for some odd reason, Ruben and I felt the need to dress up. What? What's going on here? We're gonna go painting. We're being artists. <laughs> We, we're just losing our minds. I'm really gonna get. I just look at him. I'm like, ah! Oh, no, what do you think about Baby Brother's look? I should be more proud. <laughs> he takes after his dad right now, for sure. <laughs> there we go. There's this spot right here that's like lower down, but it's huge. There's a bunch of room. A whole lot of paint yeah. and wine. Yeah. Mango <laughs> style. <laughs> Welcome to the spot, bro. Bonjour. Bonjour, monsieur. Ça va? The, the artist is here. For the crew 2019 and our names in 3D. <laughs> this is the story of Delos, a sailboat that's been cruising around the world for over a decade. I jumped on board 10 years ago, not knowing that one day I'd be stepping up as captain, with my girlfriend and first mate by my side. Over 50 crew have called Delos home, and that tradition of sharing the adventure continues this season as we write the next chapter of the Delos story during a lap around the North Atlantic Ocean. If you enjoy Delos videos, please hit subscribe. It's a fast and free way to keep our journey going. Oh! Alex! <laughs> what the fuck? You gotta get a picture of that. Didn't see you there. It kinda looks cool, man. Oh! Originally, we were joking around about doing a big, big mural. But after talking to Felipe and the harbor master, they were really excited for us to go big and suggested the end of the commercial pier. This is one of my favorite things about traveling by sailboat. Learning about the little things, the traditions and cultures of a place that might otherwise be missed. We were in such a state of flow that we painted well into the night. After a bit of sleep, the next day we added the finishing touches and painted on a mini Delos to complete the mural.
We had no clue at the time, but a few weeks later, this massive concrete wall would be completely destroyed by Hurricane Lorenzo. Hurricane Lorenzo. Hurricane Lorenzo. Lorenzo is Lorenzo. 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 Take a look at the damage. The Azores will track near or close to the Azores. Moves through the Azores. This wall was much more than a canvas for passing ships to leave their mark. This breakwater was the only thing protecting the harbor from the wrath of the North Atlantic Ocean. Flores Island receives 100% of its supplies by cargo ship, relying on about 60 containers every 15 days. Without this wall, Flores has a long, stormy winter ahead, with minimal help from the outside world. While editing this episode, I spoke to Felipe and asked how things were going. He said the only progress that's been made is some cleaning and dredging of the harbor. They tried to use a smaller cargo ship to deliver supplies, but due to the sea conditions in the winter, they're only getting on average one small ship a month. Unfortunately, Felipe told me that a lot of businesses are struggling to get by. But in the bigger picture, everyone is pretty optimistic for the future. The government has plans to rebuild the breakwater, bigger and stronger. And for the Azorian people, I'm sure they'll bounce back and continue their lives on the raw and rugged Flores Island. After spending three weeks on Flores, we had fallen in love with this unbelievably beautiful little island. But as always with cruising, the time comes when you must move on. There was just one more adventure that Felipe had suggested to us, and we were super keen to take him up on the offer. Yo, what's up? <laughs> what's the plan for today, brother? We was making some open-faced mushroom sammies and we're getting picked up by Felipe in like 10 minutes, 15 minutes and we're gonna go canyoneering. So we're gonna go deep into the interior of Flores. Well, canyoneering uh, is the art of jumping off cliffs. Show them, bro. Yeah. Yeah. Have you been canyoneering Canyon. before? Canyoning. Canyoneering. Canyoning. Canyoning. Canyon. Me. <laughs> no, I've never been, but mates have done it. It's pretty cool. Yeah. Are you excited? Yeah? Nice. Flips! <laughs> yeah, definitely, definitely. You ready? I'm very ready. All right. Let's do this. What's up, man? Bon dia. Yeah. yeah. We're just waiting on Ruben. All locked up, Rubes? Our every day, our every adventure wanna... starts. A walk to Felipe's car. So we gave our car back to Felipe yesterday because somebody else had to use it. But today he's taking us in his, his badass truck right here. And he's going to drive us up to the place where we're going to go canyoneering with a company called West Canyon, which is apparently the westernmost canyoneering in Europe. <laughs> company for five years and it's pretty pretty self-explanatory we're gonna put on these things because the water temperature is about 15 16 degrees right now we've got our cameras double dry bagged up man. the canyon's super close to this guy's house he runs the shop right out of his house which is really cool so that's it man let's go cruise down some canyons you. How's it 
feel very good. I feel pretty good. I feel tight. Okay. You know how girls used to wear the uh, corsets? <laughs> corsets? Yeah. That's how I feel. Like a dainty woman <laughs> in the 20s. Yeah, it's so sexy, girl. Hey! Oh my god. It's my new corset. I, I love it. Brady, can you walk? I almost fell down. I almost fell down the stairs. Already? Oh, it's all right. Flores Island couldn't have been a better welcome to the Azores. We completely fell in love with this island and its people, but it was time to explore the next destination. Sailing straight out of the anchorage. We got wind. I like it. Well, it's the perfect time to shoot for file. It's like a weird window where we're gonna have strong wind and big seas for the first part and then it might just die out by the time we get there. So we're gonna leave now and about 130 miles to go. One, two, three. I've missed sailing. All right, Ruth, so nice. Yeah. Right, Ruth. Okay, right over. It feels so good to be on the sea. <laughs> like I just felt my body go, I just relax. Such a nice motion. Yeah. What are your closing thoughts, or overall thoughts on Wahe? Wahe my closing thoughts are, I'm gonna be back here for retirement. <laughs> it's the most chill place. 
It's just so chill, so relaxed. Like the bank was closed the whole time. As a whole, it's a really beautiful place. Such lovely people, such welcoming people. Everything's so, yeah, lush. And there's just water gushing and waterfalls off the island everywhere. Like every little where you look, there's just fresh water falling, which I think is really special. Like, yeah, the energy feels so settled and so grounding. So beautiful, it's just, wow. Pretty much the most favorite place on the boat. Yeah. yeah, so you can see behind me nothing but blue horizons, blue skies, blue water, good wind, epic sail. Um, yeah, cruising along now, we're probably doing about over seven knots uh, on our way to Fayal at the moment. We're going to anchor outside a harbor called Porta. Probably the biggest swell that I've seen so far. That's some sort of huge ones. There's some definitely tall. like four meter ones occasionally. You can capture it with the camera, but this hole is pretty solid. Man. People down there is getting getting thrown around, huh? So today I'm going to try and show visually what it's like to cook on Delos underway. So I'm just gonna strap a GoPro to my head, put some GoPros in cabinets, and uh, see if it comes together. Rolling? Mm-hmm. Ow! You hurt yourself. <laughs> I would say imagine if you're cooking at home and you have your countertop and all of your stuff and your, your stove and everything's out nice, anything that is not secured is going to go flying at any second in a direction that you don't know. Like, you know when you're trying to go to sleep and you have that one fly that's like... <clears throat> it's really annoying like that. morning and we are less than 30 miles away so yeah we've been we've been going pretty fast and I can see the and uh, the lights of the island and we going between seven to nine knots so yeah we're doing pretty good we're gonna get there first thing in the morning or so Where have we gone over here? <laughs> right? This is a new island. New island. <laughs> Big rock in the ocean. 
So what, what is the main difference you see on this island that floors? Yeah, it's a lot, I wouldn't say flatter, but the topography is a whole lot different. It just like, kind of slips all the way up, where Flores was very much up and down. There's no water pouring out of everywhere. Yeah, it's right. as, just as green. There's pastures everywhere. There's a lot more sailing boats, a lot more boating activity. And as we come around the corner, you can see hot. It's a big town. Look at that. It's white building too. Oh, wow, yeah, that's a big town. <laughs> Uh, good morning, Horta Marina. This is Delos on 1-1 one, one over. Good morning, Delos. Uh, I will give you another place, uh, place here. Uh, okay, roger that. I think we'll come in, we'll back in and go uh, port side to the dock. We'll just set up lines and pull in. Thank you for your help. And just like that, 130 nautical miles later, and we'd made it to a new Azorian island. Welcome to Fayal. Next up on Delos, Blue takes me on a five hour horse riding adventure. Okay, Brady. Sit down, hands down, heels down. I just hear Brady behind me making the funniest noises. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. You're doing so good, babe. And we get to dive with the elusive and beautiful blue shark. What are you swinging on, Blue? Our brand new five panel Delos hats. Which one do you like better, this one? Or this one? Uh, I like the blue better. The blue better? Yeah. That's just because you like blue. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm slippery. <laughs> <laughs> What's that kid? <laughs> Hi. Hi. You got the dirtiest mind of all of us. <laughs> I don't know how that could be dirty. I'm just saying I'm slippery because I have like a shit ton of plastic in my ass. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you paying on the peanut butter? I was trying to find jelly, but we don't have any. What is it? Sweet sour sauce. <laughs> <laughs> That's kind of grim. He's a special child. It kind of tastes like jelly. Are those all for you? I think this is the last time I'm going to go canyoneering talking cameras. Yeah. It's just not worth it. Yeah. No, you, it'll be worth it. You really have to like plan the shots and take your time and like yeah. you know, have somebody just go ahead and film only. Yeah. It's okay, we're not in a rush. I can switch. I know, it's just a pain in the ass and like this thing's all floating and like... Yeah, but it looks so tiny. Yeah, it's good. You're great. killing it. Hey, it's the worst problem in the world to have besides carrying cameras on a river. Hey, I'm so proud of you. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Teams of reggae love. What was your your strategy for ah. dealing with your cooking day on passage? Cook first, before sail, then easy, when sail. Wow, that's you're my becoming a very efficient speaker. That was poetry. <laughs> that was poetry. Wait, did you just poetry slam that answer? <laughs> yeah. <gasps> poetry slams! I love poetry slams. <laughs> Squirrel! <laughs> <laughs> All right, give us a new end screen for the like, subscribe, add. Add. Hey, you ever want to go sailing, but really not want to leave your couch? Turn on to sdtaylors.com and come along for the ride. Mm, I like it. I like it. I like it a lot. Exactly.